Hello guys, you're welcome to today's tutorial on how to animate designs using Jitter Video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create stunning animations using free templates that can be used in video overlays and UI UX designs. So sit back, relax, and let's get right into it. To get started on this platform, all you have to do is come to this website called gr.video and that is going to bring you to a page like this. Just click on this button that says try Jira for free. So once you click on the button that says try Jira for free, it's going to give you an option to sign in. So just click on the sign in option and then it will prompt you to create an account. So I will click on continue with Google. Okay, after that successfully signing up with your Google account, it's going to bring you to a dashboard, your personal dashboard like this. So you can go to the blog section where you can have the option to read a whole lot of things about this amazing platform, which gives you the ability to animate your designs and let's go to the pricing plan there are two price plans on this platform you have the personal free plan and then you have the pro plan the pro plan cost $18 on a monthly basis but if you pay annually you get it at 3% discount which allows you to be billed at $12 immediately you sign up on this particular platform you are placed on default on this free plan and even on the free plan you have the ability to create unlimited amount of files you can export videos you can export the videos which you have created you'll be able to create your animations and your videos in 720 pixels and 30 frames per second you can import your designs from figma in order to animate them on this particular platform you have the ability to work with a lot of animation templates and presets the only drawbacks is the fact that you cannot remove the watermark a jitter watermark is going to be placed on the video which you create you are not able to create in 4k and 120 frames per second also you cannot make transparent background but in this video if you stick with me to the end of this video we're going to remove the watermark which is present in the video we're going to create using a very very simple tool okay looking around this platform has a whole lot of templates which you can modify if you go down you have a whole lot of them in different categories but if you don't want to use this template you can create a new file from scratch once you want to create a new file from scratch it brings you to this personal editing screen I'm going to come here and then I'm going to choose text you can write any text that you want once you write your text like this you can highlight your text and then go to this design section so on this design screen you can change the position of the text just like the orientation you can change the size of this text and then you can now edit the properties of the text i'm going to choose the font lato and then i'm going to choose the style as bold so you can do a lot of editing you can change the alignment of the text you can change the size of the text and a whole lot of qualities of this particular text so let's say you have your text now so going to the level of animating your text you can even use this to change the size of your text but i'm going to return it back to my initial size you have the design and then you have the animate animate tab now we have worked on the design then you can go to the animate tab and then we can choose a new animation so you can choose different types of animations you can choose the intro animation or the outro animation now the in animation is brings forth the text which you have written and then the out one is the one by which the text disappears now a whole new timeline is opened down below here by which you can see the effects of the changes which you are going to be making i'm going to use the basic animation for the intro so by the time you play it here you can play the animation here so you can see the intro of your text you can change this i can change the length of this animation i can change the length so once you change the length of this animation it plays a little bit longer by reducing the speed exactly like that so i can change the effect by applying it to the letter rather than to the words i'm going to reduce this back. so i can replay it good so once i've done that i'm now going to go back to animation i'm going to choose new animation then i'm going to choose the out so this is the animation by which this text is going to leave the screen we can now see it has created another second line on this timeline the first this first effect is for the intro while this is for the outro but if i want my text to stay a bit before it disappears i can now put some space between the intro effect and then the outro effect so the whole length of my animation is four seconds which is obvious at this point on the timeline 
so let me play what i have i'll click outside here then i'll play the effect so we can now see that this is actually an animation which you can use in your videos as an overlay and a host of other things this is just a basic animation so once you are done or if you're cool with this you can still change a whole lot of properties around you can change the feel which is the color of the background to red or any bit of color that you want most especially if you want to create a green screen you can use this fill to basically create a green screen so this is going to allow your text to come up on your screen as an overlay and then basically disappear you can orientate you can change the orientation of the text really you can bring you can drag it down you can resize and do a host of other things you can put it on top you can put it anywhere anybody who is very conversant in video creation will know the effect or will know the use of what a green screen basically is so with this amazing tool you can create and animate effects like this so once you are done with this you can just come to this export in the free plan just like we have said it gives you the option to export your videos in 720p so once you click on this it goes here to export your video okay so this is basically my video this is the created video and as you can see it has this jitter watermark here but which we are still going to remove as we go in the video to create an effect like what you just seen now, what all we're going to do is just to come to the template section. Once you get to the template section, you have a whole lot of template depending on the use case of what specifically you want to create. But for the purpose of the effect which you just saw, I'm just going to come down and I'm going to use either the subscribe button or the continue button. But I prefer to use this continue button in order to make exactly what you saw just now. So that is going to bring me to my editing screen like this. So on the editing screen, it already has your intro and outro effects already created because this is actually a pre-made template where the only thing i'm just going to do in this is the fact that i'm going to edit all the elements that are involved in making this animation so if i bring it back to the beginning it's just a four second animation so i'm going to edit every part of this element i'm first going to edit the word once i highlight it i'm going to go to design once i get to the design i'm already seeing the layout i will change my font text i'll make it old 700 and then i'm going to make it the higher case once i change my text like that i'm going to change the text that is involved so i'm going to change my text to subscribe in order to do that i have to change this background color so i'll come back to design and then i'll change i'm going to change okay beautiful this i'm going to increase the size of this also okay so i'm going to put a background fill i want to put a green screen so it's going to look entirely like this so i'm still working on the intro now i'm going to edit the outro so simple so simple and straightforward so i'm going to change it also to lato to bold i'll change the font size also once you're done like this you just come to your export and then you export your video in 720p Alright, so this is the video that we create. So you just click this button. If you try to remove the watermark from here, this is what it's going to show you. It's going to show you to subscribe and it's still going to take you to the pricing page. But just like we have said, we are going to remove this jira.video sign now after downloading this animation all we just have to do is we're uh, going to go to this website called one to three apps so once you get to one to three apps just come to video tools once you get to video tools and then go to crop video we're going to drag and drop our created video here it's going to open our video here you can even play the video from here it tells us the video size which is 720 by 720 pixels all right so we are just now going to crop off this excess part of the video which holds our which holds the watermark so once you crop that off you have successfully got that read of that but you have to make some allowance in such a way that your video elements are not going to be in the way of this place which you are going to cut off always remember your video elements must not be in the way of this space where the watermark is that you are going to get rid of all right so once you have done that you just come here to save and then a new video file is already encoded for you you can just click on save and that is going to be downloaded i am going to play the downloaded file now so that we can see this is my downloaded file and we can see that it does not have the watermark which was present on the original file so animated design can add interest and interactivity to static visuals making them more engaging and memorable for viewers they can be used to convey complex information ideas they can be used to tell stories or simply add a visual flourish to a project overall they're a versatile tool for designers and content creators looking to create compelling visuals that stand out from the crowd i hope you found this very useful and feel free to leave any comments or questions in the section below don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content like this and I'll see you in the next one.